All right, YouTube, I'm uh, getting rigged up for Rockfish Wars in Trinidad, California, and I decided to do a walk around video of my 2017 Hobie Pro Angler Camo Edition. Uh, for information only, I live in Humboldt County in the Northern California. Uh, I primarily fish saltwater in Humboldt Bay and the areas of the Pacific surrounding Humboldt Bay. Um, including Trinidad and, and south to Shelter Cove. Uh, so I figured I'd do a walk around of my kayak and how I have it set up. So we'll start at the front, inside the front hatch. Uh, when I'm not on the water, that's where I store my PFD, my dry pants, I've got a jacket in here, and my game clip. Uh, across the front mounting boards, I got this idea from uh, Tails to Tails. Uh, on Instagram uh, what he did is he took one of the I believe it was like one of the 32 inch something like that uh, pro angler H rail cut it down and modified it to go across the mounting pads uh, attached to that I've got a light for deck a deck lighting uh, which is LED it's got white light and a red light and then my GoPro uh, my GoPro is a, uh, a five black um, going down the kayak on the left hand side of it I've got my Lowrance Hook 2 uh, 5 inch uh, it's got GPS so I can mark waypoints and structures and things like that when I'm out in the water uh, off to the side I took the rod holders and put them outboard on the kayak and step back and mounted a gaff and my paddle uh, I don't go out in the water without my paddle. Uh, things break all the time. I could run into something out in the ocean or the bay. Um, there's a lot of logging traffic with ships and stuff. Um, so I could damage my turbo fins of the Mirage Drive pretty easy. Um, so I use the paddle uh, pretty much when I'm coming in and launching initially. Um, but you always want to have a backup for safety. Uh, the gaff I'll use for fish, um, but I also crab for my kayak. As you can see below it, I've got two sport crab pots, and the gaff is actually pretty handy for uh, hooking buoys and pulling, pulling the line on board. Let's go up to the seat on the back of the uh, seat. I've got Hobie's pouch. In the pouch, I've got my bilge pump, some uh, fish identification cards, and then I throw my uh, measuring board or hog trough in between. I've got it marked on top, different lengths, and then on the back, I've got labels for sizes and quantities uh, for catch limits that's done from last year's uh, fishing game regs for 2017 uh, coming back in the flush mounted tubes on one side I usually throw a spin rod uh, these are six 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 ugly sticks with a Daiwa BG 4000 reels on it. I'm running a Power Pro 50 pound braid to a swivel, and then I go to uh, a leader from there, uh, usually on the spin rod. Um, I have one set up for uh, a jig, another set up for casting iron, and then I've got a bait reel that's set up for uh, uh, vertical jigging as well. I carry three rods with me on the kayak. Uh, I've kind of changed my setup recently, so I'm still going to keep one spin rod, but I'm going to have uh, change it up between two spin rods and a bait rod, or or one spin rod and two bait rods, and I'll show you why here in a minute. Uh, going back, I've got my wheels, and then my flag with light on it. It's a Busy Carbon Pro uh, by Yak Attack. Coming around to the left-hand side, the rear flush mount, I've got my Pro Marnet. Coming forward, I've got one of the Hobie's rod holders. Uh, I'm going to primarily use this for when I'm fishing halibut, either in the bay or, or Pacific halibut out of Trinidad. Um, currently in that rod holder right now is my second of two bait reels. Um, this one's a conventional reel. The other one I have is a line counter. 
this is my first Ziggler SG reel left hand retrieve. It's currently paired up with a 6.6 medium action Shimano Travala rod. And then the other rod is another ugly stick, but I've got a Dio Alexa uh, 300 with the power handle line counter on it. So that way, if I'm marking fish suspended off the bottom or something like that, I can physically target them and where they're at and what depth. Coming inboard, in the front hatch, a couple of plain out boxes that came with the Hobie PA, flat fall jigs, this would be two squids, and then some casting irons with my terminal tackle. Underneath the seat is where I've got all my swim jigs and everything else, plastic baits, jig heads, uh, just some lead jig heads in there, and then I've got a couple of, um, oh, swim baits, some lead jig heads, some shrimp flies, some big hammer swim jig baits, and then uh, some war baits uh, jig heads. And that's about it. The cart that it's sitting on rolls around. Get in focus there. Rolls around uh, just with everything self-contained. I've also got you know my surf perch rods, my freshwater rods. I've got a uh, plug rod for for uh, salmon steelhead and then some salmon steelhead stuff. Float, uh, bounce and row, and then another plug rod. Uh, yeah, cart works pretty well. I back my truck up. I use a Boondocks truck bed extender. Uh, for my truck because I've got a six foot bed and 14 foot kayak kind of sticks out a bit um, but one of my trucks backed into my driveway I wheel this out uh, partially into the driveway my truck backs up and it actually the boondock comes right underneath the keel and it's an easy push into the back of my truck I strap it down push the cart back in my garage uh, trying not to hit my 66 Mustang which you may have seen parts of it in the video and off I go uh, any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, be sure to like, and thank you very much.